back to my channel guys on this episode we're heading back to Wangaratta but this time we're heading there with some friends of ours two couples and um, so we're just in the mix of uh, packing the van Adam's out there playing Tetris with the fridge trying to fit everything in plus as well we've got an esky as you can see um, that is totally full because we put our hand up to um, do all the food shopping. So we've brought three lunch, uh, three breakfasts and three dinners, and we've organized it all. It just makes things cheaper. I think it worked out to be like $32 a couple. Uh, well, 30, sorry, $32 each. Um, so it was pretty much nothing. And that's all our meals done, breakfasts and dinners. How cool is that? Anyway, so we're packing all that up. Um, we're, Twyla's coming, we've got another dog coming, how exciting, can't wait to introduce you to that dog, and um, yeah, once we're all packed, we'll be uh, on the road to Wangaratta. Twyla, are you ready for our next adventure? Twyla! <laughs> how are we going? How's the packing going? You getting it all in? Good. Oh good, awesome. Yeah, plenty of space. Plenty of space. Adam is the king when it comes to um, Tetris. <laughs> Twyla, it's going to be your next camping trip. Yay. And importantly, you want wine. Yes, well, what's that one? Oh, that was from last time on Wangaratta. We got that one yes, from Brown Brothers. It's from Brown Brothers. A Merlot. Mm. For our, uh, what is it, our red wine stew. Oh, yeah, cool. See, we've got, all oh, there's the potatoes. All right, well, let's get this thing packed so we can get out of here. Adam's just made me hop in the van to check out his pantry stacking. So what is it, Adam? You've got... Uh, tall at the back, small at the front, so there's no need for digging and easy reach. Oh, there you go. So nice, compact, good, done. All right, can we finally go, Twyla? Can we finally go? What are you crying for? We're about to go on another holiday. Are you ready, Adam? I am. All right, cool. I've put a seatbelt on. Just got to lock her in. All right, well, let's get hit this road. It's a bit later than what we wanted it to be, but anyway, we are on our way. Twyla, we're here. Adam's just checking in. And Twyla's having a cry. Twyla, it's okay, Daddy's just there. Wow. And this is the caravan park. It is so shady, they sit on the sign. It's a shady caravan park, but not in a bad shady way, in the nice tree kind of shady way. But before we get into the video, if you can do me a favor and go down the bottom if you haven't already done so, and subscribe, like, and tell everyone about us. And that'd be awesome. Thanks guys. Now, enjoy the video. So we've set up, we're here now. So I'm just gonna take you over to introduce you to our, um, our new puppy friend. Here we go. Lucy! And Twyla's got her friend for camping this time. Look at you girls, you're being good. And then we've got our, oh, there's Rob's bum. <laughs> and Laura, say hi, Laura. <laughs> this is their tent. Here's our van all set up. And then we're gonna send it, set up this marquee in the middle so we can have, um, have a big communal area. And then we've got one more tent coming, which will probably go over there somewhere. And um, they'll be here soon. You got your fans on? You got your fans on? Keeping you cool? Twyla, where's your fan? You got your fan on? 
You haven't got it on. you got to turn it so on. So we've got the last 10 up. Now, Julie and Nathan are here. We've got to meet Julie and Nathan. Stand up. Uh, so we've got Nathan over here. Say hi, Nathan. Hi, Nathan. And Julie. Hi. And, um, yep, so we're all here now. And now I'll give you a look at the whole campsite set up. So we've got our van, tent, tent. And as you can see, a lot more people have come around us. And it is a full caravan park. It oh. is absolutely packed. See, uh... So tonight we've got Rob on the steaks, we're having steak night, and they're pretty juicy steaks, I'm looking forward to this. Rob, yep. how's your cooking going? Um, I can't even see you. <laughs> oh, there you are. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah, alright? Yeah. Three minutes? I don't think I can fit any more food on the plate though. No, I don't think you can either. Is it a three minute and then a turnover? Depends on how you like it. Four minute turnover is good for me. <laughs> All right, um, so Rob's going the four minute and then turn over. I can barely see you, Rob, so we'll just go with that. All right, there he is.
So we all managed to get in the pool. Um, everyone's had a swim, everyone's out now. I'm the last one in. Julie's still here having a drink. Julie, say hi. And um, now we're about to get out and, and go play some. What are we playing tonight? Disturbed friends. Disturbed friends, doesn't that sound great? All right, so we're about to play this game. Uh, Julie, should I be scared? You're gonna uh, be afraid, be very afraid. Some very dark secrets are gonna come out. Okay, we're gonna censor this. Are you ready, guys? Oh, mm -hmm. uh, you look like a happy bunch. <laughs> I was scared to Burger night tonight, and I'm doing it keto style. So it's burger in lettuce with a bit of coleslaw. So it's 6.30 in the morning, Twyla is up, she wanted to go to the bathroom, so I've actually brought it down. In this caravan park, it's actually got an old tennis court that they've converted into like a doggy area, how cute this is. And yeah, so they get to play in this area, nothing overly exciting, but at least Twyla can be off the lead and you know she's safe. So she's the first one in the park today, so she's one of the cool kids. We have come, we have conquered, Twyla's done good, now time to go back to care. Since Twyla has gotten us up nice and early, I may as well give you a tour of the caravan, Wangaratta Caravan Park, so let's go check out the facilities. As you can see, they've had their camp kitchen, they've got the playground for the kids, they've got a pool. Now the pool hasn't been that packed, which has been awesome. This is the first school holidays that we've probably only had a few people in the pool with us. Um, and obviously it's very green leafy and um, yeah, a lot of uh, caravan signs underneath beautiful trees. All right guys, well, better get Tyler back to the van. 
and uh, start thinking about breakfast. Good morning, happy Easter, Lucy. Good morning, happy Easter, guys. Um, Rob, <laughs> what's that? Um, well, this is a reused cup, and, and oh, it's just it's so that I feel like I'm having. A, I think uh, you like. I think you drove to <laughs> Macca's when we're camping. Now it this was Laura's fault. Laura, you're guilty as well. Yeah, well, I don't drink. I'm just going to coffee. head over here and make a proper camp coffee. While you stay over there and enjoy your Macca's coffee. Where's Lucy's?
in town we may as well come and check it out again we we're here not long ago if you want to see those videos go down and um, it'll be down the bottom you can check out that but otherwise we're here again but everything is open this time when we were here last a lot of things were closed but now that it's um, school holidays everything's open When we come to this place we got the best chutney ever so adam's gone back into the pickled house to go get some more so we can keep it for the future because we won't be coming back here for a while but it was so good how'd you go support the local same one same one beautiful revisiting the popcorn shop which um, has popcorn, ferro floss, lots of lollies, ice creams and all the rest of it. We're outside, me and Rob, with the girls and on top of that they got this awesome fan here spraying out water so we're keeping cool while people are getting ice creams. Popcorn! Fantastic! Did you get Rob? Um, Pokey Pokey and uh, Ooh, and some popcorn. Nice. Hey, Lucy? No. So on one of my last videos when we were away, we came to this bakery and picked up a jalapeno pie, which was cream of the... Oh, it was just amazing. So make sure you come to this bakery if you haven't had lunch. Obviously, we've just been to the winery, so we're not going to get lunch, but this was awesome. So we're back now and I'm about to get tea ready. It's about four hours off because we're doing a slow cooked dinner tonight. I'm doing a red wine um, beef casserole. So I've got to get it all ready. I've got to brown the meat and then I'll take it outside and we brought our slow cooker, put it outside and then we're gonna in five, uh, four hours time, open the lid and hopefully we've got a nice dinner. Browning the meat in the van at the moment. And then I'm going to take it outside and pop it in the sofa. So this is the rest of it. We've got the mushrooms, the carrots, the red wine, the sauce to make it. And um, you're meant to put potatoes in it. But because of mine and Adam's keto, what we're going to do is we're not going to eat the carrots out of it. But we'll eat the rest. And they're having, the rest of the guys are having mashed potatoes, which I'll make later. And we're going to have cauliflower as our side dish. All right, well, let's get this on and get it ready. So tonight, why we're waiting for the food to be ready, we're playing this truth or dare, well, it's not truth or dare, it's a lie detector. So it's gonna tell us if you're lying or not lying. It comes with questions, so this will be very interesting. <laughs> Watch what happens. No. Yeah, I was going to say...